Today I'm going to show you how to do a super simple four row repeating pattern to make this gorgeous Peyton Crochet Mobius cowl. We're going to start with foundation ovals, make our strip flat, even in rows, and then twist it to make it the gorgeous cowl. You can use a self-striping yarn like is shown in the photos, or just make it in a solid color yarn, and it really accentuates the beautiful stitch pattern as well. Let's get started. Row one of the pattern calls for 51 foundation ovals. You could also do this in a multiple of two plus one if you wanted to do a different size yarn. A foundation oval is chain three, and double crochet into the third chain from your hook. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That's one foundation oval. Let's do that again. Chain three, double crochet in the third chain from your hook, and either continue to do that until you have 51 foundation ovals or a multiple of two plus one. I'm doing a reduced size sample, so I'm only going to be doing seven foundation ovals, but this is what your work should look like at the end of row one. Row two begins with a chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. Turn your work, and now working inside that foundation oval, we're gonna work two double crochets in the first foundation oval. And then for the rest of the row, we're gonna work three double crochets in each foundation oval across. See, so we're working three stitches in that space in the middle of the foundation oval. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row two. Row three begins with a chain four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. Turn your work. So that double crochet works over that first stitch. The chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch. And then in this third stitch here, we'll work a double crochet. Our repeat for this row is chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch and you wanna repeat, chain one, skip one stitch, and double crochet in the next stitch all the way across. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row three. Row four begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, turn your work, and we're going to work one double crochet in the next chain one space, then one double crochet in the next double crochet. And that's our repeat for the whole row. One double crochet in the next chain one space and one double crochet in the next double crochet. You wanna repeat this all the way across the row. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row four. Row five begins with a chain two that does not count as a stitch. We'll turn our work. And over the first three stitches, we're going to work a double crochet three together. Double crochet three together is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. That's a double crochet three together. Chain one, and then double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. Repeat, chain one, double crochet three together all the way across the row.
And this is what your work should look like at the end of row five. Row six begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Turn your work and work two double crochets in that same first stitch, which was the double crochet three together in the previous row. Okay, we're gonna work three double crochets into every double crochet three together stitch on the previous row. So we're going to skip the chain one and then in the next bigger stitch, which was the double crochet three together, we're gonna work three double crochets. And you wanna repeat this all the way across the row. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row six. Row seven is going to be a repeat of row three, which is chain four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. Turn your work. The double crochet works over the first stitch. The chain one, we, for the chain one, we skip the second stitch and then we'll work a double crochet in the third stitch. Then our repeat is chain one, skip one stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. And you wanna repeat that all the way across. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row seven. Row eight is going to be a repeat of row four, which is chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Turn your work, work one double crochet in the next chain one space, and then one double crochet in the next double crochet. And that's our repeat. You wanna repeat that all the way across. And there you have it. There's our completed stitch pattern. You wanna repeat rows five, six, seven, and eight for your desired length. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. You'll find a link in the video description to download the pattern with step-by-step -step instructions, detailed chart, and also a link for where to buy this gorgeous gradient yarn. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.